Hi guys and welcome and like I told you in yesterday's video today I'm going to tell you about a hundred thousand dollar bet between two of my friends and the question whether one of them would succeed to break a 21 second barrier on the full mile in a drag race or not. But first a bit of a background information. Last year in the summer 2017 I visited one of my most favorite car events in the world the Moscow and M500 Plus. <laughs> And we've witnessed a pretty interesting bet for $5,000 and I think it was something about whether a car, a race car for that particular event would be finished before the event or not. <laughs> And to which I told to you, this is not the craziest bet I have ever seen because in 2013 there was a bet for $100,000. I'll tell you a story later if you want uh, me to uh, let me know in the comments. And many of you have asked me to tell you this particular story, but unfortunately it has taken me almost half a year to do this. But hey, there are other stories that I still have to tell you, right? Now let's get started. The story starts on 10th of July 2013, so almost five years ago, when two of my friends, Yuri and Leonid, make a bet who of them two would break a 22 second barrier on a full mile drag race first and the bet concerns $25,000. On one hand we have Yuri with 1700 horsepower GTR and back in the day it was the fastest GTR in the world. Let me quickly grab the specs because I couldn't memorize them by heart. So the top speed was on the full mile 382 kilometers an hour. That's roughly 230 miles per hour. The quarter mile was passed in 9.447 seconds at 260 kilometers an hour. The Full mile on 22 and a half seconds, or to be precise, 22.538 at again 382 kilometers an hour. So he was pretty confident he would take a win that day. Some other statistics, 0 to 100 was uh, 2.9 seconds, so to be precise, 2.99, so almost 3 seconds. Not that impressive nowadays, but back in, the, the, back in the days it was very impressive. But more impressive is the 0 to 200 kilometers an hour is 6.5 seconds, so 3.5 seconds later the car would be doing 200 because of the traction issues at the, the earlier stage, and 0 to 312 0.3 seconds. Now, for reference, five years later, actually four years later, in 2017, the current GTR record is in the hands of Lucas English, unless I am wrong, who did a quarter mile of 6.88 seconds. <laughs> and the top speed was 222 miles per hour. <laughs> to summarize, four years of progress mean almost three seconds faster over quarter mile and the top speed on a quarter mile equals the same as would be in a full mile four years ago. But anyway, so this was Yuri pretty fast again. He was very confident. And on the other hand, we had Leonid who had 2005 horsepower Lamborghini Gallardo Nera Twin Turbo. Сегодня планирую пробить 22 секунды, но 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 меня главное вот это сегодня интересует машина. Это Lamba Underground Racing и уже Altechno, которые там совместно делали, потому что в Altechno доделали софт, переделали на мотыке, перед сделали систему охлаждения и переделали топливную систему. Ну, в общем, and most importantly with a manual gearbox. So Battle of the Titans. Well the 2005 horsepower Lamborghini appeared to be strong enough to win the bet. What a surprise. 
On that day, Leonid managed to pass one mile distance within 21.852 seconds. And according to the bet, he was a happy winner of $25,000. But hey, this was actually just the beginning of something a lot bigger. Those crazy conditions were proposed by Yuri at the end of the event, at the end of the day, so the very next best occasion to do the same type of crazy thing, to try to break the 21 second full mile pass, could only happen in two months time, to be precise, on 14th of September 2013. And, well, something very spectacular happened that day. So, most of the people that I know at that stage would say, well, well okay, I lost, so here is $100,000, all so fine. Well, not many people can say here is $100,000, so it's all fine, but you get the point. But no, what did Leonid? He bought another twin turbo Gallardo from another friend of his. Then overnight, they swapped all the best parts from his car, which were still in one piece after the fire, on the second car that he had bought to try to beat the record the next day. Unfortunately, the next day it was raining very, very hard. That hard that they had to cancel the event. So, and it was already September, like I told you earlier, and you know Russia, the whole event takes place in Moscow. In Russia, after September, almost, well, the snow gonna fall and then you're done. So what are you gonna do if you cannot drag race in Russia because of the weather? Right, you're gonna look for a place where you still can do it, where the weather is sunny and where you can make the attempt to be the fastest man in the world. And after a few drinks with his friends and organizers of Moscow Olympic 500 Plus, Leonid managed to persuade them to organize similar event, Drag Times Destination Greece, well, as the name suggests, in Greece to be precise, uh, in Crete, I believe airfield of Timpaki, on 16th of November 2013, two months later. So a lot of cars went there and it was again one of the most amazing events that I have experienced. And I must say that on that day, on 16th of November 2013, everything looked perfect. It appeared that Leonid was gonna break the 21 second mark on that day. The weather was perfect because it was Greece, it was Crete. Uh, the track was prepped perfectly by the crew of local technicians with glue, so the, the grip was optimal. Конкретно на данной полосе нанесен так называемый клей. Это нужно специально, чтобы очень мощные автомобили могли зацепиться на первых 100 метрах старта и, соответственно, реализовать свой потенциал. But neither you, neither none of us would believe what we saw on that day. The car caught fire again. Well, again, everyone I know would on that day say, well, fuck it. I mean, after buying extra Gallardo for that record, organizing a whole expedition to other part of the world, to Greece. I mean, you already spent more money to, to win this bet that you're gonna win eventually those $100,000 if you just use common sense, right? 
Well, apparently Leonides didn't have any common sense. He decided to book a very long holiday in Greece, so he stayed there for almost well, another one and a half month because remember, the bet was valid until the end of the year. So whether if, if he's gonna make the run at 11, like half, half past 11 on 31st of December, he would still win, right? So the problem was that Unfortunately, his fire suppression system was not connected well, unlike the previous time that he was burning. So the car burned down almost completely. So it appeared to be a bigger challenge than just buy a second car like he did previously and put everything together and go again the next day. So again, he had to book a longer holiday. And in fact, there were like seven tuning companies involved in this whole project. Cyvex, world's uh, renowned manufacturer of ECUs, custom ECUs, I, uh, I believe they ran the very first prototype ECU on that car. So it was a very big deal because, as you may imagine, a success would would mean a lot, a lot of promotion for those companies. And eventually, after about well one and a half month time, somewhere at the end of December, they managed to build the car with 1,575 horsepower at the wheels, which is 1,800 horsepower at the flywheel. think 200 or actually 205 horsepower less than he previously had which didn't help him to uh, break the 21 second mark so how well how can he do that with 200 horsepower less because the majority of the cars do not even possess 205 horsepower by themselves let alone if you talk in difference this is a bit crazy well the thing is with drag racing is not only about the horsepower but how they are being transferred on the road so in this case too much boost actually this gtr that i was talking to you earlier about the current world record holder uh, managed to break the the record to do a faster time by lowering its boost to have better traction so uh, in this case more horsepower is not always better but anyway let's get back to the main hero of our story leonid and his freshly built 1575 horsepower at the wheels Gallardo, on 21st of December, almost at the end of the day, he ran the first test run. So he rented the airfield of Team Paki in Greece and Crete one more time to do a test run. managed to do 21.7 seconds and you would think well 0.7 seconds to go that would be probably impossible but no it's test setting and it was on low boost so what would happen on a full boost or high boost setting of 2.9 bar well all i can say that those 2.9 bar of boost made this story a one with happy ending <laughs> On 22nd of December 2013, Leonid managed to break the 21 second mark on a full mile, to be precise 20.845 with a top speed of 409 and a half kilometers per hour, which was pretty crazy.
It requires no further explanation that everyone was celebrating that moment, from all the companies involved to build this car to make it finish in time, to the guy who was just gluing the track. 20 zero! Yeah! How much? How much? How much? How, How much? How much? How? Balaka speak! How much? And what about Yuri? Well, he kept his part of the deal, he paid hundred thousands of dollars. Well, I hope you enjoyed this crazy but very interesting story and if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe for daily stories mostly from Nürburgring Nordschleife because this is where I live and also make sure to share this video because it, again this story happened almost five years ago so I'm pretty sure the internet has already forgotten about it. Thanks for watching and see you guys tomorrow. Bye!